<clears throat> oh, it's just... Well, not even from a reference. I just took, I straight up just like traced it. Sketches like, is I'll like... Yes, yes guys can have big matter. juicy butts. Uh, yes, yes guys, references. Like reference the juicy butt. Like, don't put a Kim Kardashian clue what I was getting into here. Honestly. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like, it's, it's, it's high school drama multiplied by a million. It's like a popularity, gossip, someone to hate, uh, boom, you got these videos and all this. Honestly, I really don't know what to think of it. I always thought, my followers, my subscribers, my community, it's gonna be a top notch, uh, top, top of the tier, you know, like creme de creme. But guys, I, I am, I am too old to be doing this. All, all of you, all of you guys talking your, your baby comments and you're doing this and you're, you're, you're doing your hate and you're, you're riding off of this, this wave of this drama. You're like feeding off of these scraps of like, uh, n uh, no, no, I, I, I can't get in the middle of this. I can't. It's 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 too much. I can't get in the middle of this. Holly Brown, D'Angelo Wallace, Emily Artful, uh, Connie Sidonia, Bonaire Archives. Uh, guys, I I, I can't. Um... I'm just messing with you. You know I'm getting into this drama. I can't pass this up. Come on, let's go. You thought you thought I was too good for that? You thought this all this little baby comma drama uh, stuff going on? That's that's t that's far below Ethan Becker's content, right? That's just too far below him. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're gonna be a big, bunch of little babies. I'm gonna be picking you up, picking you up, your little babies. I'm gonna be picking you up. I'm gonna be sticking your little babies. I'm the drama now. I'm the drama now. You're all gonna hate me before this is over. Ah, I'll have so many subscribers. Ah. You idiots! Oh god. Oh, <clears throat> we're going we're going over it all, people. Uh, Holly Brown, the whole situation here. Video in question. Tracing. Is it a bad thing? Men can't have round butts. Huh? <clears throat> Will chairperson make an appearance in this video? Uh, boom! Here you have it. You've been asking for it. Now it's here. Mistakes that young artists make. Nobody's ever done a video about this, so I'm just gonna teach you. I'm just gonna. Uh, here we go. God. All you kids, man. All you kids. I, I have I have so much to cover. There's so much that I have to correct. <clears throat> Five plus years of gaming and animation industry. Boom. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. We got DreamWorks. Uh, boom. NBC. Boom. Comcast. Boom. Uh, Universal. Boom. SciTech Games. Boom. Skybound Studios. Boom. Uh, Warner Brothers. Boom. You don't think we trace? Uh, okay, look, look. If you're here as a highbrow artist, that's like a, a freehand, no tracing, no digital kind of art, a little baby person, you just just leave right now, okay? Just because the big boys and the big girls, we're gonna get paid, okay? That's what's happening. If you want an actual job that pays the, the big boy and the big girl bills, uh, then, <laughs> uh, boom! <laughs> oh, who wrote this script? What a jerk. Jesus. Maybe I'll be Tracer. Uh, all you kids, all you kids are drawn without reference. What are you, what are you doing? Come on. Tell me something, tell me something here. Visually, how could you ever know what anything is without ever having seen it first? Okay? To this day, and you know this, everything I do, I do with the photo, I haven't done anything without the photo reference attached to it. Or some type of reference. Still, still, professional in the industry, still using reference. Go watch my other videos, you're gonna see me do photo reference, I do my own photo reference. Super important. Can't stress it enough. If you feel like your drawings are looking stiff, this is why they're looking stiff, okay? You're not focusing reality. Focusing. You're not referencing reality, uh, baby. And look, if you want to just do your own art, yeah, go do your own art. And you don't want to look at reference, you know, that's fine. But don't expect your skills to skyrocket, okay? Practice makes perfect doesn't exist. Perfect practice makes perfect. You can sit there and draw all day. Like a little baby, draw on your little crayon drawings all day, okay? You can do this all day. All day, okay? That's... Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much mileage you put in that way. You gotta... You gotta think about it, people. All right, let's go. Let's think about it. All right, I'm gonna help you. I'm not trying. I'm here to help. Let's 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 go. Come on. 
Here's a question, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to make art that is very solid in its foundation so I can create good designs for clients. Essentially, that's what I'm doing. All right, so how do I do that? I gotta keep things simple, I gotta keep my designs clear, and like I said in the past, I'm not thinking of it as a two-dimensional image. I'm trying to think of it as a, this is something that's happening in a 3D space. So let's, let's check out how I do that, all right? Let's just go, let's just check it out, come on. All right, we're gonna check out some Steven Universe, all right? This is some important stuff here. So I worked on a game and I was, whenever I was working on this video game, I was I was creating character designs. The characters are gonna be created in 3D, so I had to create the designs as simple as possible. So I had to break it down in shapes. And I found out that pretty much all good designs are just broken down into very, very simple shapes. Check it out. Look at this. Look, look how complex this looks. To me, this looks pretty complicated. You know, you got all this shirt stuff going on and like, don't get, don't get focused. Don't, 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 never focus on the details, all right? That's where the students go wrong. They're focusing on the details. You need to focus on the foundation, this, these major shapes right here. So once you create that, then you can go on top of that foundation and you can add all the details later. Steven Universe is really good to look at design and shape in design. At first glance, this looks like a very flat image, a very, but there's so much geometry happening in here that this person, this character designer, can turn this character in a 3D space. And it looks so good in every angle. All right, so you might be thinking, you can only do this in Steven Universe because it's such a simple looking show. That's not the case. You can do it with with, it, with everything. I'm gonna be going over a lot of artists that I learned from and on, uh, on Voltron. This is Ryu's work. Ryu was a director, producer on Voltron, and I learned a lot from this guy. He's really good. Look, I can do it here, look. There you go. All this little stuff. Look at all these, look at all these little bumps here. Whoa, look at all of them. So much detail. That's so good, right? No, 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 no. That's it, people. That's it right there. Okay, and at this point, he doesn't, he doesn't start with a box. At this point, I don't start with a box, but we understand the foundation beneath it. That's the whole point of this is understanding. So once you, once you start understanding what you're creating, the understanding the space, then you can, you can draw however you want to. But look, this, this, this underneath, it's a box. Essentially, it's a box. You take down the opacity of the box, and then you start adding, then you can start adding all of your, your detail over the top. As long as it's following the same grid, the same motion of this, or this underlying shape. Arms are cylinders, look at that. It's just shapes, people. Christine, I've been wanting to show her artwork for the longest time. She's amazing. She also worked on Voltron, and I learned a lot from her. Her structure, like, it doesn't matter what you're drawing. Anything that you draw is going to have an underlying shape. Oh, man, her stuff is so good. Look at that. The the shapes in all of this is just incredible. And it's very flowy, and it, and it looks flowy, but realistically, it's not flowy, okay? It's got it's got foundation under underneath it. So maybe maybe there is flow, but that's that's on top of it, all right? Let's look at this. Look at this. Okay, so now if we follow this line right here, it's curving down like this. We just created a box with the uh, with the edge cut off. Look, uh, it, it's that easy, people. I know where this is sitting in 3D space now. So if you're drawing this muscle right here, you don't have to guess which way it goes. You follow. You're following this grid line. Okay? There's no guessing in this in this type of game right here. All right? There's no guessing and that's what's so amazing about it. Her work is amazing. Check it out. Moving on. Let's go. Here you have some fan art. I personally like it. If you're designing a character for animation, this design might not fly because you can't really, you could turn this character into 3D space. With this design, it would be difficult for animators to, to, to turn this character into 3D space because it doesn't have an overall shape to it. Pidge's design is so freaking good. I love it. This, this hair back here, it has an overall shape to it. See, see this line, it's going up this way? You draw through, okay, boom, boom. And now you're gonna take this line and you draw through, boom. You follow the direction that it's going. All right, merge is here, and we'll be following this. Look, we're drawing, we're drawing through, we're drawing the big picture here, people, big picture. Everything should have a flow, everything should have a, a, an, its own composition. Her hair has its own composition. Pretty much everything follows this rule, big, medium, small. If I, if I had to guess, you got the big shape right here. You got the medium shape right there, and all these little tidbits here, these pieces coming off, this is the small bits, okay? These are the details that you can add on last on top of your foundation. So again, a design like this, it, it's nice, all right? I actually, I, I like this I like this style. It's, it's kind of almost bubbly, 
By the way, these are Christie's designs. I'm pretty sure. So I learned a lot from Christy on Voltron. She is incredible. But what she taught me was everything needs to have a through design. It needs to be creating an overall shape. This piece of hair right here, don't think of it as doing this. It's not connected to the back of Pidge's head. This is an individual piece of hair that if you follow this line, it's going to continue. This piece of hair as well. So both of these are going to be like a composition closing off Pidge's face, keeping your attention around Pidge's eyes. Okay, let's follow this one. It goes up here. They converge in a nice shape. This line, essentially, it's, it's closing off to the back of the head over here. Look at this nice over, overall shape. Gonna add the details later. All right, check this out. Kenneth, this guy, co-creator of Sun Creature Studios. At first glance, I was like, this is kind of cartoony. I don't really like it. But then I started going back and looking at his character sketches. They're so good. They're so good. He has so much structure in them. And you need to know this stuff if you're animating, if you're moving characters in a 3D space. You don't even have to be animating. If you're making a comic, you need to know where things sit in a 3D space if you want it to look pro. Look, it's just circles. Here's a chest. I'm doing a twist here. Look at that. It's it's a it's a it's a rice like a little rice cake. Look at that. I always look at his stuff. He's got really dynamic poses. Test pencil, I think is how you pronounce it. Test pencil. This person has really, really good structure too. It's just a different, it's just a different type of structure forming, and I really like it. Always awesome stuff to look at. Steve Ahn, obviously Steve Ahn. I'm not sure if he still has a character design class or a, a storyboarding class out, but uh, I took his storyboarding class right before I got onto Voltron, and I learned a lot from it. This guy is incredible. The whole crew is incredible. In this actual, in the actual clothing design, he's got a place for where the hips go, and that's that's really interesting to me because the clothes show the design of the body. So in animation, if you were to design this character, you easily know which way this character is gonna be turning because of the hips. They have a, a specific design on the hips, kind of designed with the hips, so you know which way this character is turning. So I understand in the beginning, you wanna draw your own stuff. All right, I get that, all right? I, I went through that too. I just I, I know this is my first video and all, but I'm I'm quitting YouTube.